In this section, we're going to talk about the most famous, the most useful S3 API, which is the classic get object API. Uh, this is the one that you're probably going to be using the most regularly. Uh, it's your standard accessor uh, API that's going to get you the file content that you are looking for. Um, so there's a whole bunch of documentation here that just basically talks about this. Uh, obviously, you need the correct permissions for this. You need the get object API with whatever user or IAM role that you're using to access this. Uh, if you don't know what IAM is, go check out my other videos on that. I have a whole bunch of them uh, on my channel. And they, they just give some details here about the fact that um, S3 doesn't have a native file structure beyond the bucket, which is kind of the top level parent uh, folder. But you can kind of emulate that by using slashes in your name to create a um, logical hierarchy. Um, and this is kind of respected in the S3 console. So if you're navigating it, you'll be like clicking into each of these um, folders here. So if you're if you're looking to uh, access files that are within a particular subfolder, then you just kind of use this notation with slashes uh, finalized by the file name at the end. Uh, and if you're not, then you just give the file name. Uh, so let's take a look at what this looks like in Node.js as an example. Um, so in this example, we have a params object. You specify the bucket uh, key and the value being the, the ID of the bucket or the name of the bucket rather. Specify the key the key key, <laughs> and then the the value of the key is the name of the file that you're looking for. And again, this can be uh, with slashes if you have a nested stru structure. And then you just call the get object API, pass in the params. You get a callback function, success, failure. You log some stuff out, and then this is what you get back. So. Uh, you get um, the type, you get the length in bytes, you get the file type, so it's a JPEG. You get an E tag, which is basically an identifier for this object. Uh, you get a date representation, and this is language specific, um, of when this object was modified. Um, so that could be useful in some circumstances. You also get some metadata, how many tags are associated with it. If you're using versioning, it'll tell you the version here. Um, but that's pretty much it. If you enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. And as always, I'll see you next time.